are live! Welcome, welcome, welcome to another fantastic episode of Mondo Market TV. This is the Sparkle of Creativity <laughs> show with Shahar Boyayan. Today we're creating beautiful, adorable little dolls from soda pop cans. Yes. Yes. Soda pop taps. Yes, yes, adorable. I, so I, I, I drank the cans. You did? Yeah, it's just the taps. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, before we dive into that, mm -hmm. Shahar, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's share, right? This is a get together, a time with friends. I see Kim Sorensen here with us today. Welcome, Kim. Well, click that share button, invite your friends, and let's have a good time together as we show you how to create these beautiful things. And remember that the best viewing experience is on MondoMarketTV.com. On there, you can watch and you can chat. And uh, but I am monitoring Facebook and YouTube as well. So if you if you're if you're participating through there, fantastic. I will see it as well. Talk about multitasking, right? Right. So Shahar, yes, what should right. we ask them today? Uh, hmm, I didn't think about that. What's your favorite soda? <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, do you drink soda? And <laughs> if you do, which is your favorite? All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'm addicted to Diet Coke. So what, what are you addicted to? No, that's dangerous. <laughs> what is your favorite soda? <laughs> yes, I want to see. Yes. I want to see. Okay, tell me. You tell me, what are we doing? So, you know, I was thinking, let me, let me tell you how this idea came about. So we got this wire necklaces. I don't know if you watched on Curious Mondo when Melissa Terlizzi uh, was making the turtles. So she gave me a chameleon on a wire uh, necklace cord, which are these that we have here. And they are adorable and they come in many, many colors. So when we got them, I said, okay, I need to create something kind of cool to go with that. But I'm always thinking what I can use that I have and, and you know, not going too much out of the box so we can use what we have at home. So I came up with this project that is actually, uh, it's easy, it's simple, it's fast, and it is really a great gift, uh, especially for girls. They're it, it would super be cute. Adorable. Should we show them? I think you should start showing them the one you're wearing. Really? Not the other one? I'll, I'll take mine out too okay, so you so can show. This is the one I'm wearing. Mine is not on the wire one. I, I love these uh, little necklace wires. I love them. Yes. I love them because of the color. I but like also, the colors. That's exactly what's cool about them. And I like just having them. They, they, just, they just work. Plus, if you make jewelry, they're super convenient because all you have to do is slide your pendant in there and boom, done. Yes. So look at these. Look how cute these well, are. Oh my gosh. Look, look how adorable. This. And you are going to see. You can, can I show you them can, the backside? Yes, of course. You can crank this in half an hour. So soda pop. I'm soda just, pop. I was just and you that's to see. exactly what we are going to do today. These are super cute. Mm -hmm. And Love then them. Uh, show mine because I want you to see. I don't know why I have these things here. Uh, I want what I want you to see. The 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 piece is adorable. Okay. But compare a normal cord with the wire. Ah, and you're going to see, yes. so see, it's a very cute owl. Very actually, cute. actually, actually, uh, the, the wings, I had a cane from the turtle class. Right? Oh, And look at of this. course, I have leftovers. I just sliced them and made the wings. That so was clever, That's Shahar. the other thing. You can use uh, pieces that you have at home. So can we show them some of the other pieces? I, w I wanted you to show first the cord with the wire the comparison so they can uh, they could compare okay okay let's let, uh, let, don't touch, this don't is touch. my area uh -huh. you have your she, room she at, never I respects area. this area but oh. i have to respect that okay yeah i know how course. it goes so 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 fine you win <laughs> so look here we have this is the the necklace with, with the, the wire with the wire yes and, and then well, this is the one. This is the one. What's the best way to show you? Yeah, but just lay them down because or else you won't be able. Yeah, there you go. You see, the, the owl is adorable, but the presentation with the wire is just a little Presentation lot changes everything. Yes. So, yes. Because the, the, yeah. the little plastic, the, the, this, the little silicone one, it's nice and convenient. However, it's, it just, look the same. it's just like. It, it nah. adds to the perception of value of the piece this with the totally wire. It does. does. Yes. Then a simple cord. And yeah. like, I love the, I love just, I love these. I love these as a, someone who makes jewelry, mm -hmm. but also from the perspective of someone who wears jewelry. Yes. And again, uh, it's fantastic for you to give. 
but it's a, a quick one for you if you have a, a end of the year bazaar or something that you can go. This would sell really well. I haven't sold any because I made them just a few days ago, but I know it's easy. Now, what do you need to get started? So I am using scraps of polymer clay. So I have here a box of some colors. They're not exactly clean or anything, they're scraps. I'm going to use soda pop tabs, here you go, so you can see those that you get from the can. I actually have, I, I bought them in bulk. So you bought them like this? Yes, because I made uh, some, some time ago, I made some purses out of soda tabs, oh, made out of cool. crochet, they, yes. they are very cool. Uh, so the, the, the soda tabs or beer tabs, or they are, they are all kind of the same. And your basic sculpting tools, you do, you do need the blade, to be able to chop that. And, and, and I'm using here a crochet hook. Nothing special, National. Okay, fine. Okay, I, you're going to see why I use this. So that's all you need. That's so all? That's Polymer all. clay scraps, basically, yes. and soda pop tabs. So if you think, uh, for you to make some of these beautiful pieces, mm. it's going to cost you zero. Because you're, your you're repurposing tabs of, of your soda cans and your scraps of polymer clay. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? I yes. think it's awesome. By the way, Shahar, we're welcoming Shalin. She's watching. Welcome, Yay. welcome. Uh, we've got she Kay. She fast. <laughs> Kay watching. Welcome, guys. Let us know what your favorite soda is. Yes. Guess 310 sent us a comment um, to them. Their favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. Ooh. My favorite soda is Diet Coke. I, that's... Well, let, okay, let, let's, uh, let's not uh, promote the sodas, right? But it's the only one I drink. Well, I am partial if uh, my favorite beverage is green tea. Yes, that's true. Unsweetened that's true. green tea. I love green tea. Um, so can I show these cute we, ones? Yes, we will be making the uh, one of the girls, but ah. I want you to show other possibilities. Okay. Just the front. We're talking about possibilities. Po keep, that's how we are. She makes my life look good. Possibilities. I love these little guys. Look how adorable, adorable. that is. Come on. I, I only saw these Chance. now. <laughs> these are super cute. So, and I look how love the color guy. of the wire adds to the whole piece. It's perfect. Right? The, the it's wire... got to be just brown or, 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 or black like most. Yeah. Right? Or just a simple matter. So we've got this little okay. guy. Can, may I show all of them now? Yes, you can. Okay, so now look, there's this one over here. Let's see. Look how yeah. cute. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And of course, once again, we're making it so that the wire uh, adds, the, the, the chain wire <coughs> adds to the piece. It's not just a cord. That's, that's what I of like about it. Of course, you have it. to sneeze when you're on camera. Sometimes I can't tell if you're sneezing or coughing. And nobody can. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's this one. This Look one at this I, little girl. Yeah. Cute. Saxa. <laughs> yeah. And once again, check out the wire, the necklace part. And then there's another one here I can show you. This one. This one. Oh, I like this one. This one's fun. So look. And look with each color, a different color of wire. Yeah. It helps the... Whoops. See, like I told you, I, I did make them quite fast. Yeah, yeah. This one, we will be working on her a little bit, but she's super cute too. She's cute. Look at this one. And then... We also have this one, which I recognize once again yes. her clothes. A slice, yeah, a it's slice the, of a cane. A slice of the turtle cane, yes. is that correct? And this one, Ash, mm. I didn't finish this one. I didn't have time. So she's bald, which is okay, because she could also be just a baby. Okay. Okay. But here's my idea, and that's what I want to plant in your head, is this. So the whole production here took me less than an hour to make. So it was fast. We could go more sophisticated. Then you use your own skills. My job here is to show you the process, and then you go crazy with that. And you go crazy. Yes. But this one, when I, I made and I didn't finish, my idea was just to get a piece of... Uh, uh, crochet thread uh -huh. and make a chain oh. and make the hair just with tacky Cute. glue. I would make the hair. Uh, I really didn't have time to finish, but I thought it was a very cool idea I that it. I need to fix. My favorite, Shahar, mm. for when you're planning the necklace you're creating for me. Um, <laughs> my favorite is the kitty. Yes, I the love kitty. the kitty. And by the way, I've got some comments. Um, 
Cherry Coke is Shalene's favorite. She's watching as she drives, hands-free. <laughs> <laughs> she said, so cute. Uh, Kay said, hi, ladies. This looks like fun and a unique project. I don't drink soda, but my hubby drinks Coke. Uh, Ken says, hello, hello. And uh, Regina said, so cute. They are cute. They're adorable. And then you keep thinking what other animals and what other types of girls you could be making. Because as I was making this one, Again, I made the whole thing in an hour or so, but I start thinking, okay, I could do this hairdo and that hairdo or, or, or the hair with a flower. Uh, I could paint eyes instead of doing what I'm going to show. So you go from there, okay? He Heather Timmons said, are you allergic to the cats? <laughs> no. She's allergic to the cameras. Every time they go on, she sneezes. Yeah, that's <laughs> basically. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get do it. Get it started, ha ha. Let's get it started. So. We are going to, to start working on the back of our piece. And for that, you need a, a scrap of, of polymer clay, whatever color you want. And you either use a pasta machine or a roller. You can also use your fingers, but nothing against it. The only difference here is that with the pasta machine, I get it very even. With the roller, I, I get a little less even. And with the fingers, I'll get even less even, which you're going to see really doesn't matter because the whole surface of the thing is a soda tab. See, so you don't need to stress if you don't have the pasta machine because really it's not going to make much of a difference. But I'm going to roll mine. I'm on the, the ticket setting, so it's, I like thick. Okay, I put it here. Let me see where I am. Okay, and then I put the soda tab. It doesn't matter which direction at this point. I get a scalpel. By the way, Shahar. And I go around. How good with improvisation are you? I, I improv all the time. Have you, haven't you seen the last 30 some years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's okay. a master. Okay, so uh, Marie Lewis, remember Marie from the previous episode? Uh -huh. She said chickens. Chicken. I, I did think about. I Heather, did think about that. Heather said little chicken babies would be so cute. So maybe, maybe. I think we can pull I, a chicken I easy here. I think we can here. pull it off. Let's do the girl, and if we have time. Perfect. Uh, but it's going to be a test. We don't know. And I don't even know if I have the right colors. Okay, so here is my soda tab with the backing. So the backing, okay, I cut with the scalpel. Why do I need this here? You might be thinking, why don't I put leather or, or felt? Well, you could even do this later, but at this moment, I need the clay here. And why? Because the clay will not really stick to metal. I don't know if you have tried that oh, before. Really? Yeah, you ha it, it comes out. So you bake the clay, it comes out, everything looks fine. And then you're walking down the street, la, 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 I'm walking down the street, and it falls because it really doesn't huh. stick. You have to glue that, and we don't need to do that. So we put the, the clay in the back because that's how I'm going to make it stay with the clay on top. Okay, you will see how. Oh, you're going to sandwich it in there. Not really sandwich. So now let's choose. Like I said, I, I don't have a ton of colors. Just I got some scraps, scraps, but I'm going to get a scrap and I'm going to make the body. This is a perfect okay. project for scraps. So with every polymer clay, doesn't matter the brand you're using. Of course, we have some here, uh, but doesn't matter the, the brand. You have to condition a little bit, even the ones that are very, very soft. Why? Because when you are conditioning the polymer clay, the polymers inside are actually moving and creating the binding and the resistance of that polymer later. So you do want to, to always condition them a little bit, even the very soft ones. I don't like to buy the very soft ones for anything, actually, because they annoy me. They're so soft. Regina said, I love Shahar's personality. Oh, thank you. See? She's awesome. She sometimes she wakes up and, and then, so you don't love my personality all the time. Yes, I do. This mother and, okay, so now I have to choose what I want to be the body or the or the head. Depending on the soda tab that you get, the design is a little different from one to oh, the really? other. Yeah, it, it depends on the soda or the, the beer or whatever you buy. So don't worry, choose one, okay? Doesn't matter. So I have a, a ball. This might be too big, but let's see. Let's create a chubby girl. Yeah, it, it, need, it needs to be a little smaller. So I'm going to slice. I just don't like too bulk. 
Okay, so this will be the body or the dress of my girl. I, you could create more stuff than here. You know what else would be cute? A what? Little, a little panda. Yeah, but uh, well, let's stop having ideas right now. Okay, now I'm, I have a cane of this, the same color I use for the backing, actually. That is kind of a nice color for uh, skin. So I'm going to use this as the head. So it's just a slice. And I'm going to round it. I put it on the place of the head and I pressure. Okay. And I already have the head and the body. Now, here's one important thing to do. You have to pick up your soda tab. And I usually work with polymer clay on a, either a tile, marble. It's easier than, but this doesn't stick. So you need to make sure now that the back and the front do contact with, with each other so that'll be the because trick. that will be any and sometimes i even use something round to press a little bit again because remember it's not going to stick to the metal yeah but so it will stick to each other the to back itself. clay needs to touch the, the to front touch the clay. Top clay yes okay so here i go Ta -da. they i'm safe here now you decide if you want to start with the, the head or the body. Let's do something simple and just put some dots here. Now, remember I told you, I'm going to make it simple so you can see. But if you're more advanced, and anybody can do it, because that's the purpose of this show, right? You don't have to have prior experience but, of okay, anything. The purpose of this show is just to sparkle your creativity. Exactly. So you get the idea and you run <laughs> with it. You exactly. Get creative. Because you By don't want way, anything complicated. Deborah says hello. Hey, Deborah. Welcome. Hi. Welcome, welcome. So, but if you are experienced with polymer clay, then you can go one step up and create canes to make what I'm going to make right now. Right? I'm going to make something simpler so anybody can do it. But if you, you have skills already in polymer clay that you can create canes and stuff, go for it. So I just need some dots. And I always follow that rule of if, uh, odd numbers when I'm creating a design. So I'm going to put five dots here. OK. Very concentrated to put dots here. I can see how that, that's going to look cute already. It is. This seems like such a fun project, actually. It is. And, and the cool part about polymer clay is that it's so, versatile. It's, so, it's so versatile and very colorful. So if you like strong colors, or even, even if you don't, you have a gamma that you can mix. You can really play and with see. it. Do you want to talk about what I, I, I want them, the suspense? The suspense? The thriller. <laughs> All right, so Mondo Market TV, go there right now. You will see that we have a variety of different polymer clay items for you uh, to get all on sale during the next 24 hours. So I highly encourage you to go there right now. You can see we have uh, the liquid ones. We have uh, the variety pack, uh, which are really cool because they come with a variety of colors. And we have the wire necklaces that we've been talking about. These wire necklaces over here that you've seen, they, they just come got here. in amazing colors. You can see the, those are the ones that I'm wearing when uh, <laughs> they just fell. Uh, but these are fantastic. They're fantastic if you're a jewelry maker because they give you they give your jewelry a nice finish and they're ready. All you have to do is insert your beautiful pendant in them. Uh, and so MondoMarketTV.com, that's where you go to get them and they're fantastic. Yes, and let me tell you one thing. They are 18 inch. Aha, uh -huh, yes, uh, good point. If you're thinking about the height, the, oh, I don't know, well, how do you measure that? And um, give me a shot again of the clay. I just want to tell you, I love the Primo one when I'm doing jewelry. They oh, have a special these, effects. The gold, yes. silver, copper. Good quality. Yes. It's not too soft at all. So that's one I use. And the female I use a lot when I'm going to sculpt in small pieces. And of course, for the big ones, you know, we use ProScope all the time, but they are good quality uh, polymer clay. By there. the way, Katie is asking, what is in the kit? So Katie, we don't no have kit. a kit for you today. We're just showing different, uh, uh, different polymer clays that are available and the wire necklaces, and you can pick and choose whichever you'd what like. Is, but, but, but if you order today, and that's Ooh, today, when you order today, I'm going to send you a little pack of soda tabs. What? Yeah, like I told you, these are all washed. I, I bought them in bulk. 
Oh, nice. Like I told you, I, I made some soda tab purses. So the advantage of these is that they are as good as new. Stuff. Basically, you don't have to try and unbend a soda tab, yeah. pop tab or anything yeah. like that. So you get it as a bonus. Whatever no, it doesn't order, matter what you buy today at Mono Market TV, you get one. Exactly. And it doesn't matter even the quantity. So go yes. for it. MonoMarketTV.com. I'll send you more if you buy more. No, no problem. Ooh, all right. Ah. Okay. Now, <clears throat> with the body here, you can add texture. So how do you add texture? You can add texture with stamps. Uh, if you have silicone modes uh, that you can press or sugar modes, we have some as well. You can do that. Or you can ju just get a stylus that you have and, you know, do some texture. It just adds to the interest. Okay, no, no science here, but you can make those, okay? Now I have a texture body, and that's cute. Now I'm going to make the, the, the eyes. Your only decision when you make the eyes is that if you follow the normal rule, one eye, the space of an eye and another eye, or a more uh, either Japanese or folk style where you put them close together. So with my stylus, I made a little hole and another little hole, and I'm going to keep them close together. And I have the eyes, no biggie here, right? Cute. You may wish to fill those, uh, those holes with the color or not. So I have some black here. They, they are okay if you just do the hole as well. The black is a strong color. So you, you kind of have to be careful. Let's put, no, green eyes, it's not going to work. How about blue? Blue, I have a little, t uh, just a tad of blue here. Okay. I love that we can use scraps for this because that's like sometimes when I'm working, I'll have little scraps, itty bitty of itty bitty pieces of scrap that I don't want to mix together back with the original clay, and this is perfect. gives it gives it purpose. Yes, and you start feeling guilty <laughs> that you have all the scraps. That you have all the scraps. Okay, so I wrote two little balls and I put in the place of the eyes, and then with the stylus. I'll make sure they are in the right spot and inside. So this one will have the, the blue eyes. The mouth is just another tiny ball. Always condition a little bit before you put. Like I told you, even the durability of the polymer clay will be impacted if you condition or not. And it's very easy when you get a softer clay, uh, like the Sculpey and, and the others now that you find on craft store that you don't even condition because you think you don't need. Be careful with that. Okay, a tiny. And you see, I don't need to use glue or anything because this is polymer clay. They are, it's all raw, so it's going to, to bond together once I put it in the oven. Okay, what's missing here? The hair. hair. <clears throat> so the hair is really where you can get that's too Brazilian, yellow and no, green. Go with Do you like? How about the red hair? The red hair? Okay. Yeah, you like red hair. I love red hair. Have you noticed? <laughs> okay, so let's do red hair. Uh, then here is where you can spend some time going crazy, right? It's very easy that it, and it's logical that you do a lot of long hairs because they look cute. Uh, but then you can go up, you can do a punk style, right? Go crazy. If you have... If you have kids or you have grandchildren, for example, they all, especially teenagers, they all have different hair, right? You can, you can do that because they will know it's them. Well, and for example, this makes for a great uh, gift for, grand, for, for grandmas, for example. Uh -huh. Let's say they have three grandkids and you do one for each grandkid and a little necklace. Yes. Super adorable. It's super adorable. Shahar, how much, if you were to sell this at a show, how much would you sell, for well, example, the, the one that I'm wearing? This one, uh, I would wear, uh, I would sell. In fact, let me show you again. Okay, because uh, it's opening in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah? Okay, so, hang on. I would go for it at least 40 bucks on this one. So look at this. Because I do have three and I have beads. For those of you who, just, who are just joining, look how cute the, these are. Yeah. I love this necklace. And so we have, you put, you added, you added some beads mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit, a little oomph. And then you have and the, separate the dolls them, right? And if I didn't them. have the beads in between, they would all be close together. It wouldn't look good. Yes, and of course we've got on that wire necklace chain, which is great because it holds its shape. That's one of the reasons I really like this as well. Mm -hmm. It's like you always get that consistent look to it. Yeah. Now, if I were selling just one piece like this 
and I wanted to sell a bunch of them fast, yeah. 15 to 20 bucks, uh, they would go easily. Uh, and look how cute. What's your rule? Is it, uh, how do you do? I 20 bucks do, each? I if do. you get two, yeah, it's I 30. do. Yes. One right? for 20, two for 30. That's yeah, usually how I go. Uh, there is a rule in marketing, actually, that every person carries with them a $20 bill just for emergencies or, you know, it's, it's the pocket money that if they need, they have. So when you were thinking about, okay, I'm going to sell this, but I want to sell a bunch of these. If you go that route, 20 bucks or, or two for 30, they always have is an easy thing for them to spend. When it's over 20, then it might require a credit card or a check or something. Uh, they don't not always carry with them. So if you're doing shows like, you know, Halloween shows that you have a bunch right now going or the end of the year shows and you say, okay, this, this kind of stuff is going to pay for the booth or whatever for like expenses you have. like the Christmas bazaars? The Christmas bazaars. These are People great. People need to do stock stuffers and stuff like that. Two necklaces that look good for 30 bucks. Isn't that cool? Yeah, exactly. I would go for that and any they're, year. They're fast to make, right? Yes. And you're, you're using your scraps, which is awesome It's almost in that zero way. cost for you. Even the wire is, what, $2, $2.50? Exactly. It's super. So I did a, a squiggly line here with the red. And by the way, Kay, Kay said a ladybug would be perfect Ooh, for this. It, it, and easy. True. Yes. And I'll tell you, what's her name? A Kay? Kay, think about a steampunk ladybug. Mm. Huh? Mm. Huh? You do the ladybug and then you put some, some clock metals on top as oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just roll a little bit of my snake here. And I'm going to. I'd like that. I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, one or twice. <laughs> Make it stick cute. to the yeah. And I like that. Bangs, bangs are in, right? So let's put some okay, bangs. Okay, some bangs. You can even give her a little shot, like a little purse. I can, yeah, I can do anything. <laughs> so then you get any of your sculpting tools. I use Karen Baker's favorite sculpting tool because it is awesome. And you just start bringing. So think about if it's going to have a division or not, depending on the hair do you do. Mm -hmm. So create that division. So mine is going to be here, which means that from here on, the hair goes this way. From here on, it goes this way, okay? Just pay attention to that so it looks... Re Rio up to a point. You're not creating anything real. Here. Regina said a steampunk owl would be cool too. Ooh. Would be cute too. Yes, and an owl. This lends itself really well for an owl as well. Yeah. So see, here I have my blue eye girl. <laughs> blue eye girl. And it's ready to go to the oven, right? What do you do? You grab your girl. Uh, either put on prop. That is the the fiber thing that glass artists use and sculptors use, or you put on a tile or on, even on a Pyrex, you can do as well. So May you I put, and you put this, the back, you put on whatever surface it is. Then you might say, mm -hmm. I don't like to use tile because it, 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 it gets shiny. Shine. Well, you, c you can sand, but this is the back. So no so worries okay. at all. The oven goes, at, depending on the brand that you use, these ones, 275. For 15 minutes, you're good. It's done. Come on, is she cute or is she cute? She's so adorable. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. I was just born in front of your eyes. <laughs> Hi. Dish, do a little laugh. But you're, th you're thinking, but how do I make her hang on the cord? Yes, how? Well, so you put her the back to, is to bake. You put her to bake. So this is what I do. I get a piece of scrap, doesn't, well, I'm going to use the same I have in the back, right? And I just cut chunks of it, okay? And then I get something round. I got this, and, and this is how I operate. There is a lot of planning and testing in my life. I look what I have around, and I say, oh, I think this works. That's how it goes. Jody does tests all the time, right? I just do it. So I got a, a crochet hook, and I put it around, okay? I make sure these two parts are joined together. And once I do that, I move around. Remember I told you, it doesn't stick to to the metal. So it could be snugly there and I could take it out after it's baked, 
but I want to make sure I have enough room to put through my cord. Doesn't matter which cord you're, you're using, if it has the endings already there, like, like these have, see, you already have, has the endings with the cord, you have to count for that, that it needs to go through there, oh, whatever yeah, size it size. is, yes. So just be careful. So you can be anything round that doesn't stick to the, to the clay, which would be something metal. And I make a bunch of those. And once, once I'm done, they go to the oven as well. Fantastic. Okay. So a question from Patty. Could you attach a pin back? A pin back. Yes, you could. Yes. The metal ones, this is how I would do it for, for a brooch then, right? So I have my things, see, and, and they move because I want to have enough room. I send them to the oven just the same, okay? Uh, if you don't like the more organic look, you can work something more precise. But a this question, will you work. You would just, leave your crochet hook in there? Yes, I put this in. And that's another reason why you need the metal, right? Okay. And then I put in the oven. Let's pretend this is the oven. Okay. It goes here to dry. Perfect. Same thing, okay? Now, if I were putting a crochet, uh, not a crochet, what a did she say? A pin hook. Which is the one that doesn't you have know, anything? You know, like the little, even the I know little, what it is. Okay. So, what you would do is this. You put your, your pin, it has to be a tiny pin though, and you have the metal here, get a piece of scrap, so open your pin, and you put the polymer clay, you, you have to put some um, liquid, liquid, liquid. So, liquid so let's, pretend, clay. let's pretend that this is your pin, okay? I put polymer, uh, liquid polymer here and here, and then I come with a scrap of polymer and I go over the base. So you have to open your pin so the, the pin part is actually out. If this were a brooch. If this were a brooch. And then I would go to the oven with this as well. Fantastic. So then it would secure. But you do need to have the liquid polymer clay and then the polymer clay because what happens with a brooch is that it goes through a lot of wear and tear. Right? And not only you have to put it in, put it out, put it in, put it out, sometimes it, it sticks to something. So you have to be careful. If you want to go even safer, you add a piece of leather or something or, or felt on top to, to protect that. So this is if it was a pin. But Shahar, what if you wanted to add one of those little uh, eyelet pins that are like this have a little loopy? Yeah, same thing. So then you would just do a hole in the, in the clay? Oh, oh, you can. And if you, for example, you want to put a nylon, uh, not a nylon, but a chain or something uh, like you, you do with earrings, for example. So you, you put that right into the clay bef when it's raw. It goes to the oven. When it comes out, you move because it doesn't stick to the metal. You move a dot of super glue, put it back in. Boom, done. And then it goes, okay? But nice. always remember that you will have to remove the, the metal and glue that. Even if not it looks like it's a little stuck because it's eventually it will come off. It yes. does not adhere to the, the metal. Exactly. Well, so let's pretend that it came out of the oven. I have okay. the piece here. Is that exactly the same thing? I have a lot of liquid polymer. Uh, I just grab my piece where the wire is going to come through, make sure I have liquid polymer here, put the piece on. So both of them have been baked already. The reason you're not going to be working with raw clay here is because uh, it would mush everything and it would make your life harder. Okay? Oh, so the liquid polymer clay makes it's, it ensures that you don't mess up with your design, mess your design. The liquid polymer clay glues uh, po a baked polymer clay with polymer or with ba baked polymer. Ooh, that's so hard to say. <laughs> say ten times. Baked polymer clay with baked polymer clay. So you add them here, and you take this, prop this with something in the oven. So you see how it's going like this. Uh -huh. So it's going to slide when it gets warm. Ah. So you have to prop so it stays as straight as possible, and okay. it goes back to the oven. The reason so you, you don't that? work with raw polymer clay. Yeah, uh, it's because you would mush all this. It wouldn't be round, that it wouldn't stick. Gotcha. So see how simple? Super simple, but super adorable. Super adorable. Yes. This has to go to the oven and stay there for those 10 minutes. So you would prop it. 10 minutes, it. pretty good here, and you're done. Fantastic. I love it, Shahar. 
It's cool. Love it. Very cool. Yes. And you can have fun. I mean, look, we had uh, some comments. For example, um, Sheila said, Russian dolls would look cute made like this. Well, you would you would see some, if you if you look online, you're going to see them, the babushkas. Ooh, nice. And oh, one cool perfect. thing that they do, so I have here, perfect segue. So I have here my, my soda tab, okay? One thing that you see when they do the the babushkas is that they cut instead of cutting very close to the tab like I do because I have I have no interest that the back will show it's very common that you see them cutting in a design and you oh. can use a, a rotator cutter for that so this one is not going to look very good but you would do something like this let me go so you would have that just interest. another design you find that online quite a bit when it comes to the babushkas so it looks like felt but it's actually polymer clay see i'm always looking into artists and russian artists tend to be amazing so see and then when i take it out i have a, a more Yes, more Again, you, you, you go, is, you know the, what we have that we do, the boots in polymer clay? Those, those things that create the, the cuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, the pounce yeah. wheel. So there is the pounce wheel, exactly. So there is a bigger one that you would go around, ah, and then yes. you would have this design perfect, which is not going to be the case here. Okay, but that's how they do it. So Very cool. Okay, do you want to try the chicken? Yes, let's do a kitchen, a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens to me. Okay, Marie, Marie Lewis, this is for you. Kit yeah, let's try, let's try. Okay. And by the way, if you're wondering, okay, but where can I get uh, these cool wire necklaces that you've been talking about that you can see on me? Uh, they come in such fun colors, a variety of colors. MondoMarketTV.com. Go there. You can get your necklaces there, your wire necklaces there. They're fantastic. They're ready. They're beautiful. They're colorful. And they're for you. And best of all, during the next 24 hours, on sale. You can actually get all of our polymer clay products are on sale during the next 24 hours. So I would encourage you to go there right now. We have the variety pack, the Sculpey variety pack. We have the liquid Sculpey that Shahar was talking about to, to glue the baked polymer clay to the baked polymer clay. Um, we've got the Fimo and these cool Primo packs right here, the accent colors. They're fun, especially for jewelry because you get cool colors like gold, copper, silver. They're really fun and you can create some really amazing effects. So I highly recommend it and encourage you to go to mondomarkettv.com right now to get your supply and the cool thing is for any order that you place uh, today during the next 24 hours Shahar will include a pack of the soda pop tabs this way you don't have to start collecting you don't have to you to can drink get started soda. right away <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drink soda even uh, these are fantastic because they're not bent or anything like that they're as good as new so um, I highly this comes as a bonus on your orders today during the next 24 hours so Marie don't I'm, I don't have a reference here so I'm working from my mind so I just put it you know the back like I told you then I put two balls of white clay I press against the back because I need them there and then I'm going to make first the red things that they have the beak no they don't oh. make, they're not where red beaks where <laughs> did you see the chicken with the red so beak? Uh, a key here. oh I see oh that's gonna they be they probably cute. have a name I don't know what the name is but it's here and I'm working, Marie, with scraps that I have. If you're going to make this to sell, you want it to make sure they are clean and everything, right? This is for demo pro purposes. And then they have that cool little th thing on the top. On the head. Also, the amount that of clay that you use yeah, for ridiculous. these, it's really itty bitty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for this one, what I'm going to do is create a base and then an indentation here and then I'm going to put in my chicken oh adorable <laughs> adorable I'm using the stylus just to make sure it's in the okay and then the two dots for the eyes that you choose if you want to leave uh, like this or put some some black i'm going to put the beak first this is one rule when you're working with polymer clay when you're planning your piece 
and you start working. If possible, it's not always possible. If possible, you start working with lighter colors going to dark and not the opposite. So for example, I'm working with white here. I'm, I'm going to make the beak, the beak uh, yellow. If I put the eyes first in black, my hands will be dirty. I have to stop with alcohol or something to clean it and then come back or just stain the, my clay, which is not fun. So you work from, from light to dark because it does make your life easier. Okay, before I move on, I need the wings. Oh, that is so cute. Uh, Marie said she's watching intently. <laughs> and you could create crazy chicken here. Comb. I, I'm, huh? I think this is called the comb. The, yeah, isn't that cool? And Kay. Brie, welcome Brie. Hey Brie. Okay. Wilma, she said, hi, I'm here, but hey. I'm quiet. I'd be quiet today. Welcome, Wilma. Don't be quiet, Wilma. Why? Don't be quiet. I'm going to put some dots of, of uh, red here just because I think just it's because? going to look good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to make a panda next? No, we are not going to make anything else. Come on. Come on. <laughs> And I don't have enough black anyway to do a panda. So I'm going to put some dots here on my chicken. So it creates a little bit more color. And so see, you have, you don't need to be a sculptor. You don't need to have a lot of experience with polymer clay, but you can get started and create, I'm just putting some texture here. Create some cool things here, j j just like that, see? Okay, here the... Now, if I had it here some um, alcohol, it would be a nice time to clean a little bit this clay. But here it is, here's my chicken. Oh my God, oh, that's so cute. Let, here, give it to me. Okay, Let, it's, it's raw, I so be careful. I love it, super cute. See, there's so much you can do. Uh, Marie said, black seed beads work good for eyes. Exactly. Yes. That would be perfect for exactly. the eyes. Exactly. Oh, I didn't put the eyes, Nash. So oh, yeah, I'll put, put the black eyes. here. Yes, I use a lot of seed beads, actually, for that for those little, little animals. Shahar, how much would you sell the little chicken necklace? So, so like, like we said before, I think a, a, a good way of selling that fast and several is... It would be one for 20, two for, for 30. So it's actually 15. It would be very easy to sell. Uh, nobody would complain about price. It is unique. Super it has unique. the flavor of recycling as yes, well, right? Yes, yeah, hey, 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 oh. hey, stop, what? stop everything. What? We need an egg. Yes. So the egg, I'm going to mix a little bit of the white so it's not totally, uh, and and yellow. Okay, so I just mix both. Yes, an egg. An egg is cool. Mm -hmm. I like eggs. Okay, so to one for 20, two for a little bread basket. Oh, that would be adorable. Yes. Yes, but it would take too much time. Okay, guys, what do you think? Do you like, you know, I really want to know. It's not because I want you to comment only. Uh, do you like this type of craft? Because, you know, I'm very... I'm very ADD, so I'm always trying new stuff to keep me interest. But I, I want to know my route with you guys. Where, where's the road that you would really love? Would this type of craft be fun enough for you? I think these are great. And we come every week, week with something different. So he's They're going unique. to be- unique, it's yeah. fast. I get to use what I already have at home. I don't have to worry about buying extra supplies. Uh, uh, other than the ones you get them on the market, that, those you need to more every day. Yes, Right. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Uh, Marie said, love it, all caps lock. Okay, so oh, let's give some, yeah, that's the danger of impromptu because then you want to do this and you want to do that. I want to give some texture to my wings here. I don't know about that egg, Shahar. It's a perfect egg, actually. The chick that is going to come out of here it will be adorable. Okay. Oh, I see you're adding the texture. Yes. There you go. Cute. Okay, check out. Check out. Check out the little chick. Ooh, ooh. Little chicken, let's see. Oh, yes, see? very cute. Made out of a soda pop tab and scrap 
polymer clay. How fantastic. And, and now you tell me, if you are in a last minute Christmas bazaar out there, yeah. and you say, you know what, I'm going to make some extra money to buy more gifts. And you put, look, and you put this there, and, and you now add, put with a beautiful wire. Get a beautiful uh, wire. wire necklace, and you make it a part of this. Yeah. And you have it. You have look yourself how cool a fantastic piece. It will look piece. like. Yeah. Yes. And uh, if you're going to one of those bazaars where you know, because even that you need to know beforehand, right? The type of people that are going to attend. There are some bazaars that happen during certain times of the day that um, the women go, they go with their husbands. And there are other bazaars where they actually come with the kids. Well, if that, if that is the type of bazaar, like, and many, for example, FearCon, ComicCon, those types of big shows as well, the kids come together, they look at this, and you know you're going to sell more than one right away. So like I told you, it is an easy sale. Uh, it's unique. You, you don't find this anywhere, so you don't have to be afraid of competition when you, you know, maybe the a table in your town costs 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and you're thinking, hey, I spend that, and then there are 10,000 people making jewelry which is true. There are some shows that they don't even allow new people with jewelry because it's always the number one thing that people sell. But then you come with this and say, no, this is totally different. Uh, so it will be extremely well accepted. And it's not age related. Of course, little kids would love to, to, make, to wear these, but adults just the same, especially when we create tiny dolls, so tiny girls like this one, it's easy to sell to adults. How do we know that, Nash? because we did that many, many times, mm -hmm. right? My first experience with polymer clay was many, many years ago. I met this lady, and today she's very famous in Brazil, but not at that time. And she was making this tiny little, so she would get a metal base that was the shape of a girl, it was easy to find, and she would make a cane out of polymer clay that was the face, and a cane that would be the body. So the same structure that we have here, just two tiny balls, but with canes. And they were adorable. And I, I met her and I said, you know, you, you got to teach this because it's so cool. She never taught in her life before. So we put a group together in, in a, you know, a, a building of a friend of mine and she gave her first class. Guess what? From there, she started giving classes. She started going to big shows, got a name for herself. She has her own brand of polymer clay there right now. She makes the most amazing jewelry, really cool stuff. And, you know, she's been in every single TV show and everything you can think of. Well, me, on the other hand, I made a boatload of those girls. And I sold a boatload of those girls, right? Yes. And they were adorable, adorable. And One thing that I sold a lot was to people they had a sister or somebody that had lost a child. Mm. Remember? And mm -hmm. we, sold, we sold quite a bit for those. So many times we would get custom orders, which is a very simple thing to do, but with the right color of hair or the right color of eyes, and they would love. So don't, don't think that because they are whimsical, they have to be for kids, because that's not true. No, I don't think they have to be for just for kids at all. No. And like I look, said, look for, moms, for moms and for grandmas, these make adorable gifts yeah. for each, each grandkid or each kid. Yeah. Um, Brie wants to see your necklace. My, my Yes, and uh, let's see, uh, Marie Lewis said, I just love it. Yes, aren't they awesome? Uh, Brie, I use I okay. the cane that I made for my turtle with Melissa Terlisi. It's a leftover from the cane I made the owl. Leftover from the cane, and here you see the owl. Super cute. Yeah, you recognize the, the, yeah. the turtle? Yes. And now it's all dirty because my I, I touched red clay, so and I right can there, clean that off. You can see I placed some of the items that Shahar did. Yes, some of the look at this. Look how cute the idea is. I love the kitty. I think the chicken turned out great. So if the chicken turned out fantastic, that means that you could make any type of bird also there, including the cardinals for the end of the year. Oh, yes. yeah. The, the what would be the only oh. difference? Probably... What, what did you do with Oh, nothing. Necklace? I was removing it and oh. it dropped, I think, on the mic. Sorry. Uh, you, for the cardinal, what you would do is you put the ball, the two balls like, like everything else you do, but then the beak will be on the side. So when people are looking, we have 10 minutes. <laughs> we are going to very, very, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to put the back. I just want to show what I would do different with birds, especially the cardinal. So it's not going to be the full sculpt. And just while you're, con you're um, 
Look at this. Oh. Brie, you wanted to see my, my necklace? This is the one I'm wearing that Shahar made. You're missing a ball there. It fell someplace there. Oh, 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 yeah. I dropped it. Yeah. But anyway, look how cute. Yes. Super adorable. Yeah, you just need to find, when you're putting more than one on, on the same wire or cord, you're going to have to have a spacer between them. Yes. Because if they, they touch, it's not going to be very good looking. So think about that, a spacer. And, and the spacer also needs to go, you lost my, my bead, you girl. Whoops. You girl. Okay. So here with the card, you know, I would do it facing sideways. Okay. Why? Because one, it gives me the chance to show the tail that I could put here. I'm not going to sculpt everything. I just want to give you the idea. Uh, it allows me to put, they have that. Ooh, a little mouse would be super cute A little too. mouse is easy. Yes. I forgot where the cardinal has the thing in the front of the back. Do you want me to pull it up? Can you do that? Why you do that? The beak. The beak of the cardinal. Look, look. Let me look at one. Oh yeah, they have the thing up. So again, I need to spend some time making this to, to be good enough to go to the oven, but you can get the idea of what I would do different here. So my eyes would come here, it would be facing, then you can, you can either design the, the wing or you can put the wing. So make it look more like a cardinal, but you got the idea of how you would make a bird. I love it. Huh? Because yes. then it's, uh, show that again, please. Super cute. It's super cute? Yes. Yeah. This one is very simple. No, but, but, but it's cute. Do, do the right thing here with the hand. You can, we can move away from the tab. So I can have the, the tail moving outside. I can have the top. I can have the beak. Now, Shahar, do mm. you think it's cool to let them see the soda pop tab? Yes, it is. I think yes, so too. Totally. Yes, and also because then for folks who like to, if you're, let's say if you're thinking about selling these at a show, for folks who are into recycling, this is a way to show that you're recycling, right? Well, think about this. You're in the show. Let's suppose you're on the other side. I'm the mom and I have those two kids, right? And they come and they go, look, mom! And they start touching and you, you, you cringe a little inside, but that's what happens. <laughs> and, and they start touching and I love it, I want it. And then the mom is there looking at the kids and say, I don't want to spend money but she's looking there then she looks at, at, at you and they say they're cute and you say yes have you seen their soda tabs no and then, then she go, wow. then she touches what happens when she touches ding 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 yeah rule for selling people need to touch your stuff unless really that's not possible is gallery stuff and but for this type of th stuff they need to think the moment i touch it it becomes part of me and it, i am more and more likely like 70 percent more likely to end up purchasing this and then you, you'd say yes i, I recycle so the tabs uh you know you can say like i say i'm a kind of a tree hugger <laughs> and and uh, they, they today it's twenty each. Show special. Two for I always 30. do. I always say show special. One for twenty, two for thirty. Do you do you wait them to ask you the price? No, I let them know right away. Yes. Yes. Because many of us, when we are selling, we 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 keep waiting for the cue for the other person to be able for, to give us permission to sell. But you need to get the message. You need to say it, it is soda tabs. You make it with polymer clay and you have a special. Say it. Yeah. You're not pushing anything. Money is always so uncomfortable, right? Like yeah. you don't know when to talk about it. They're, they don't want to ask about it. It's, yeah. So it's like, just get it out of the way. One for 20, two for 30. Oh, that's nothing. Because then and she's then thinking, I have two kids. She's like, oh, this would be so cute for, oh, for so, so and so. I or, don't oh, have to spend 40 bucks. I can spend only 30 and make exactly. both of them happy. Because yes. if one is not happy, my my life is hell so that that really that is how we we when we go to shows and naturally is a fantastic salesperson if you haven't noticed yet but we always make them get it mm -hmm. touch it and of course in the case of jury you always have a mirror because if they see themselves with the piece then even more chance for you to sell
Yes. This has nothing to do with tutorials, Nashua. But, but hey, Shahar, we're artists and we like to sell our yeah, things, right? I and do. So, I do. Well, it's it's one of those things. Like even if you some many times we're like, oh, I don't want to sell, so I just give it away. But really, the ultimate to me, I see it like this: the ultimate compliment is a sale, yeah. right? Because they actually took yeah. money out of their wallet to pay you. you. You really, at the end of the day, you're thinking, it, it's a, almost an unconscious thing, but you're thinking, what I make is worth yeah. to people, has, has value to people, right? It, so it validates what you do so you can make more stuff. And maybe later you don't even think about soda tabs and, and, and little girls, it doesn't matter. But it gives you the satisfaction. It's also a great way to make quick money. Right? If you have a fundraiser with one of your kids, if somebody is going through a hard time and you want the neighborhood to help, why not ask them to get these one? Are great, yeah, great, I mean, these are great. These are great projects, like Girl Scouts projects. Perfect. Church uh, projects. Church projects. These are fantastic. Yeah. Because, once again, scraps, right? You're using very small amounts. Short Super adorable. Time. Easy to create. We, in 40 Fast. minutes, created at least three talking a lot. Yes, exactly. Right? Exactly. So look, Shahar, uh, uh, Wilma said, I will watch whatever you broadcast. <laughs> the you. chicken is so cute. Love it. Thank you, Wilma. Um, and then we have uh, Regina. She said, thank you for the great tips, Shahar and Nash. And she also thought that the egg was a great addition to oh, the chicken. Oh, great. So don't great. listen to me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> Bree said, uh, Shahar makes it look so easy. She always does. She it always makes easy, it easy, Bree. However, it is easy. Bree, this is super easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I really cranked this, I told you at the beginning, in one hour. Because I was looking, and of course, I have to come with a show every week, and I have stuff planned, but I have this thing that I never follow what I plan. And, and then I was thinking, what, what is cool that we have, because of course it is a shopping network, that I want to show people. And the wire uh, cord is really cool for, for any type of necklace. And then I said, okay, let's make something fun and fast. So I sat down with my tile, and, and one hour later, I had these and more, and I had some unfinished ones. I mean, this was, well. we're talking last night, right? Really last night? We're talking last night. Yeah. So, uh, yes. <laughs> we, we're uh, preparing for a big event right now, so it's like last minute, we need to have a show tomorrow. Okay, so Regina said, would be fun to do for a birthday party. Yes. Right, and give to every kid that attends. She and you, you go with the, the animals for the boys because they would be fine with that. And this, you can do all kinds of animals. You can Ooh. do little mice, little chicken, little cats, squirrels, little dogs, squirrels, dinosaurs. You can do a little dinosaur and the like a little T-Rex and the little bumps on the back will go off of the, <laughs> yes, of the yes, soda pop tab. Yes. Anyway, uh, Sheila <laughs> said, one of the things I love about you two is the number of different crafts you do and do them to a selling level thanks for sharing your skills and enthusiasm thank you thank very you. much I, i'm in, in the back of my mind i always worry people don't want to be talking about you know selling and marketing but it is part of being an artist if anything it doesn't matter how much money you have uh, i know you spend money with supplies all the time right it, it's just n the nature of what we do doesn't matter what we what you do and sometimes you may think maybe it's going overboard maybe somebody complained a, a partner or something said you're spending too much money with that why not recoup that money selling a few pieces you don't need to be in the business of selling stuff but you may need in certain moments and then you go and sell and period and to to be true to you it can be very fun to to be in bazaars and uh -huh. as long as you you have the right plan and you know you're going to get sales out of that. What's not fun is to do the, the whole prepping work and then all the setup work of a, a bazaar, as simple as it may be. It may be in your building and they are doing a bazaar there. You still have to set up a nice table and then spend the whole day there and not sell anything. That's never fun. That's very It happens to all of us it's, too. It happens, but it's discouraging. It's discouraging, but if you have the skills to sell, your, your chances just triple. And, and it's that simple because one thing is the person that sits on a chair and, and smiles at everybody that avoids the table. <laughs> and another one is, is the one that, you know, puts some teasers. I call these teasers. So you may be selling very sophisticated pieces, but if you have these here in the front, they will attract why they are colorful, they are different. If they are kids, they will come running for this. It starts the conversation and it breaks that barrier because if you've been in any bazaar, you know people do a semi-circle not to have to touch and make contact with you so these break that problem and then you know what to say and when to say 
What are your chances? Good. My chances are good. Very good And chances. these are great. Uh, these make great gifts for the end of year bazaars, oh, yes. Christmas bazaars, Mother's Day. Uh -huh. uh, these are the easy, fast, cute gifts. That so they're, they're fantastic the, uh, for shows like uh -huh. that. True. And I really like the idea that Regina gave about the parties. Like you could do the birthday party. Mm -hmm. Everyone does one of these. That's what she said. They, they, it's a great take-home oh, gift. Oh, for them to make. Yeah, it's a yes, great take-home gift. And they got to make it themselves. Yes. How fun. Yes. Like for a girls' night out. Even for if you do those make and takes, um, they can come and make a beautiful necklace. Well, think about this. One of the things that uh, is super in right now are those girls' night out where they go make something, right? So usually, and they're, they're franchises of everything you can think of. You go usually to a place where there is alcohol, so you go to a restaurant or something, and somebody will teach them w what to make. So, for example, I went to one that taught how to make a terrarium. Yeah. Right? beyond super easy simple. right super simple and you go grab the material you make and then you have fun with your girlfriends why not do with your own circle and and have a fun night like that you know take take away just the sit down and complain about stuff and do something fun Exactly. Uh, Sheila said for teacher gifts as well. Yes. Yeah, see, yeah. these are fa these are perfect for a lot of <laughs> different types of well, yeah, gifts. Well, yeah, exactly. end of the year, it can be, the money can go fast, uh -huh. right? Because you do have to say thank you to a lot of people. So why, if you have this at home, right? Make them and it's so unique. For your mailman, like if you, if you have, oh if you yeah, then mailman. you put him with the uh, with the ladder. Yeah, and a put little, a little ladder. Don't put a little heart. He might take that in the wrong way. But put a stamp, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bree asks, did I miss how they attached to the wire? Yes, but you can, you can as soon as we're done, just rewind and rewatch and you'll see It's it. right at the beginning, very yes, beginning. Yes, it's simple. You'll very see. simple. Very easy. All right, so my last invitation to you, go to mondomarkettv.com right now. Uh, this is the end of the show pretty much, so go there now. We have a variety of polymer clay uh, products that are on sale during the next 24 hours, so I would encourage you to go. Uh, we have some great, the, the Sculpey packs. Uh, we have the Primo clay. These are fun because the, the, that's the Primo accent. So they come in different colors that lend themselves super well for jewelry, like gold and copper and silver. Then we have the liquid Sculpey. So Shahar showed you how to join the, the baked polymer clay to the baked polymer clay using the liquid Sculpey. So you got that there. And of course, the beautiful wire necklaces that we've been showing. So these colorful wire necklaces that are done. I love these because you don't have to worry about the crimping and cutting and measuring and assembling. No, they're done. I mean, they're ready. They come like this. You pick the color that matches your piece. So it accents your piece and then boom, done, ready finish now it's just ready to to gift or to sell and it's perfect so mondomarkettv.com is where i'd like you to go right now to get yours and don't forget that for all of the sales that come in uh, during the next 24 hours we'll include a little packet of the soda pop tabs now these are great because they're as good as new so you don't have to worry about like bending them or anything like or that or washing them or washing. when you buy them they are super dirty yeah so soda pop tabs come as a bonus because we want you to get started right away create these adorable necklaces I mean look at these super cute ones that we have right here right now you can see and like Shahar I love the bird let me see the bird you know one thing that I have to say when you look at the site for the liquid polymer clay also look at the new they now come in colors and oh. I think we have two or three of them that I, I have tested and they are very nice colors so take a look at that and the wire necklace we have many colors but a few of each color so if you wait, once it's gone, it's gone. And here, look, look at this cute little bird. Of course, we just did it quickly. You can probably embellish cute. it more, but look how cute this is, right? And it was super easy and fast to do. So check it out. Uh, Bree says, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sheila says, teachers, teachers like things made by their students. Yes, right? exactly. And you know, many many of you are on a break right now, right? The the fall break, I don't know how it's called. And sometimes it's kind of complicated for you to make them make do something the whole day. This is a great thing. Say, you know, we are going to start making uh, gifts for your teachers by the end of the year. Let's sit down at the kitchen table and I'll show you how to make these cute necklaces. So, you know, you're relaxed, they are relaxed. You, this is another activity. Uh, they're not hooked to the computer or whatever device they, they are hooked the whole day. And you, you get the gifts ready as well. Exactly. 
happy. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So remember, this is Sparkle of Creativity. It happens every Thursday at 3 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to tune in every Thursday to catch us. And don't forget that Mondo Market has a very fun programming throughout the entire week. So we have uh, Crafting with Shalin on Wednesdays. And Can I say the, the project for next, next week? Because it's beyond the it's, door. That's the one for next week? Yes. It's oh my! It's so cute. It, it's no, unbelievable. No, no, no. no I'm not going it. to tell you. I'm going to Keep tell you. Keep it It's so cute. It is adorable. adorable. Like seriously, you will love it. I am so excited about this. So crafting with Shalene on Wednesday, same time, 3 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Eastern. And every other Tuesday, we have the Hourglass with Jody McCraney Russo. So if you're a glass artist, a fused glass then you definitely want to be here every other Tuesday. So her, her, her show happened this Tuesday from this week. So it's not next week, the following week. Uh, you have it and you can catch it and it's fantastic. So always tune in to Mondo Market TV because our programming is super duper. Super duper. Any final comments you'd like to leave? No, I'm, I'm starting to get my stuff ready to go away. All but right. I have enjoyed my time here very, very much. And I hope you enjoy it as well. <laughs> uh, Regina said, I really enjoy this. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank Pleasure. you, thank you for watching and participating. And Bree is like, oh, don't leave us hanging. Like, what? Hey, Bree, we're back on Monday with something, right? Yes, <laughs> no, but about the crafting with Shalin. Oh, it's so cute. It's super cute. We'll it's... leave you hanging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. See you next time. See ya, thank you.